Now, former President John Romani Mahama has begun his campaign tour of the northern region in his bid to lead the NDC in the 2020 elections. His first stop was at Nantong constituency in Zieng, where he addressed delegates who gathered to meet him. In his address, former President Mahama was confident that the recent reforms undertaken by the National Democratic Congress will strengthen the party's efforts to unify members in the run-up to the 2020 elections. The party is transferring power to the grassroots and that's why the registration was put in the hands of the branches because today if you want to show that you're a branch member and you don't have your party card it's only your branch chairman and your branch secretary who can witness and see through this is a party member because the registers are with the branches you can't go to a large mobile and so a large mobile i want you to witness that i'm a member you say i don't know go to your branch chairman or your branch secretary and then, like I said, the next step the party has taken is that the presidential primaries, all the branch executives are going to vote. So every constituency will have a ballot box. And all the branches will be invited to come to the constituency capital and come and vote. And I know that with what is going on in the party, the strengthening of the branches, the strengthening of the constituencies, by the grace of God, 2020 victory can be ours. He also welcomed what he calls the competition brought to the flag bearership race by the other presidential hovels and believes that that will help delegates to choose the best candidates to take power away from the governing NPP. We have to come together. We have to uh, uh, do all our processes this year. National executives, they're going to be coming around for general secretary, chairman. We're going to vote for uh, those executives. We have to do it in a peaceful manner. And then in December, we'll do the presidential primaries to elect our presidential candidate. The other, my other colleagues who have filed to be presidential candidates, it's a good thing because NDC is a democratic party. If you take our name, it's National Democratic Congress. And so the democratic stands for democracy. It means that if somebody is qualified to stand for a certain position, he must be allowed to do so. And so other people have filed to stand for presidential candidates. And so let's let them do so. And they also will come round. When they come round, let's listen to them. And then on the day we will decide who is the best person, who has the experience, who can unify our party and lead us to go and win the election of 2020. That's what we have to ask ourselves. And once we do that and we choose our leader, all of us must rally behind the person. And so there shouldn't be insults, there shouldn't be any quarrel, quarrels or anything because we are the same family. The elections that are taking place are within the same family. So it's like in a village where the, there's a chieftaincy and the same family brothers are competing for it. As soon as one gets it, all of us come together and respect the one who has been chosen and then he leads us. Former President John Mahama there, he also spoke about the current economic situation, saying everyone is complaining that times are hard and the cost of living is ever increasing. He then asked that the NDC will work hard to change the narrative if elected into power come 2020. Times are hard. And I've always said that if you look at since we implemented the 1992 constitution, any time Ghana sees development, extension of electricity, water, schools, education, health care, any time you see that kind of development and you see that people have the peace of mind and have life a little easier to be able to go about their work, it is in the period that NDC is in power. And so all I'm saying is that if there's hardship today, then what we do is we want both NDC back into power so that we will make things easier for our population. People in the last election were deceived. A lot of promises were made, and those promises are not being fulfilled. It is easy to make promises to woo people to vote for you. But when you win an election, 
and you become the government, you cannot use propaganda to continue to rule. Because the people are living their lives, and they know the reality of their lives. And so you can't use propaganda to tell him his life is getting better when he does not feel that his life is getting better. At a time when office, a gallon of petrol was 14 CDs for one gallon. And they said the price was too high and that NDC had created hardship. Today, as I speak, a gallon of petrol is selling at almost 24 CDs per gallon. And so NDC is the government that will come and stabilize these petroleum prices. NDC is the government that will come and make life easier for Ghanaians. My colleague Hashmin Mohammed has been touring with the former president in the northern region. He joins me on the phone now to hear more of what the president has been doing. The former president has been doing, I must say. Hello, Hashmin. Hello, again. Where are you now and what's the latest update on this campaign journey by the former president? Well, uh, we are now on our way to the Tolong constituency. Earlier, the president said the announcement from the constituency, where that was the first point of call for moving the stability constituency and then to Kumbuho constituency. Uh, you will be, be addressing delegates in that particular, in the Tolon constituency, like how he did in the Nanton, Kumbungu, and then Savirgo constituency. And throughout the journey, he has been hammering on the need for the past to come together to be able to win power from the MPP. And mm -hmm. he has also been talking about current economic trends in the country, saying mm -hmm. the next NDC government, if voted in power of power, is going to address all the concerns that Ghanaians are raising. And he has also been talking about abandoned projects in the region. He said all the road projects that have been abandoned by the current government, if the NDC is able to win power in 2020, uh, there is going to be a continuation of all those projects to give the people from the hardship that they are currently Okay. Ashmin, thank you very much for that update. Ashmin Mohammed is a, a Northern Regional Correspondent there following the former President John Mahama, who is in the Northern Region.